All right, all right. Okay, so to, I said I'd get a little mic'd up for this session, the warm up. I'll probably not talk in between the lifts, just because I have particular patterns that I like to do when I'm focusing, and that's abusing myself when I watch the lifts back. Sorry for headphone users for that. So we're doing some low block cleans today. Then today's program is low block cleans. Go in and put the baby to bed. Come back outside, do my jerks, and then do day two of the Road to Anywhere's Car program. Because it's time to restart it again. I, uh, I pushed it pretty hard. I hope you can hear me. I hope this audio is not shit. Oh. So I pushed it pretty hard. I'll just switch to this. And I got to 250, started the training block with 200, squatting once a week, once every three weeks, I should say, for like four months, hardly squatting at all. I went the whole month without squatting. Back to 250, pushed it as far as I can, got to 220 for seven. And I think just from that, like I was just, my hips were getting sore, my back was getting sore. The weights were feeling heavy more importantly. And just time to reset again. Would I like to keep pushing to Japan? Absolutely, but I've got to be acting with both goals in mind, so being in good shape in Japan, which I will be, and pushing for my long-term goal. So this puts me in my best shape for my long-term goal, which will also put me in good shape for Japan. Today, those block cleans, sure Anton telling me to do, which I have been doing, we're gonna do some of those, and we will work up to something heavy. I'll probably switch back to the commentary over the video from here as I, uh, I like listening to music and focusing as I was talking about, but uh, hopefully this adds to the quality of the vlog. So today we'll be focusing on feet forward on the catch, loose arms and shoulders, baby, and some big weights, hopefully, or moderately big weights, not max today for sure. I just stepped over the bar, don't kill me. So I got a lot of work my triceps done as they were super inflamed. We increased the range of motion a lot, but uh, I can feel, uh, I feel it stretching there. So it's not like pain anymore. A little bit of pain, but there is definitely some, I can feel a new stretch in the catch position. So I'll just be cautious. So 
is not good enough, not going up. Needs to be better. Still not good enough, overextending the hips. Gonna make this last set best set. The uh, technique isn't, isn't right. Gotta make it better. Okay, it was better. Still not good enough, so I'm gonna do one more set. It's gonna be perfect and we'll leave it there for the cleans. Yes. So we're back. Bedtime took longer than expected for some reason. Uh, not normally like that, so um, yeah. Anyway, so that's two and a half hours ago. So I had a bagel in between and I got my amino acids and creatine and we're back. Hopefully do some jerks, just need to see how sore the tricep feels. Uh, probably won't be too heavy in the jerks and then if we're feeling good we'll go with the second day of the road your squat program and hopefully we'll make some moves all right so we're just moving through some of this kind of lighter jerk so i did some behind the neck thrusters aka the korean buster i don't know if you've ever watched any of the koreans training but they seem to love doing these behind the neck thrusters on their back squats on the way up but I just wanted to do them do some extra overhead. So you can see the right elbow isn't as bad as it was last week. It's still not as good as it needs to be. Certainly not in terms of pain, but also in good positions. But it is improving. I actually found a great stretch since this session yesterday. So just dicking around after training. And I found one where essentially you put your tricep on the edge of a table or on the barbell. And then you let it straighten out. For people who train a lot, you probably need to have a weight in your hand. So hold something weighted, something very light, maybe one or two kilos maximum. And then you let it hang there for 30 to two or three minutes. And it really made a massive difference already. So I've done it four or five times. I've been doing it fairly frequency since yesterday. And it has been increasing the range of motion already, which is great. So on top of the physical therapy and that hopefully will gain it back a lot quicker. So it is getting there and I'm doing it on both sides. So I'm very happy to find something. Generally, there's a tip for mobility for you is if you don't see immediate improvements on your mobility, it's probably not going to work for you. So if it doesn't work straight away, it doesn't have to work for very much. It doesn't have to remain there for very long. If it's gone in two or three hours or it's gone the next day, that's not a major issue. But if it doesn't cause notable improvements in mobility after a significant session with it the first time you use it it's probably not the right one for you sometimes maybe it might work in the future but in general it's a time to move on and find something different so just work in these pause jerks again keep it nice and light nothing crazy i'll go heavier this weekend on these nice long pauses just trying to work on that bottom position and then really locking out the elbow so honestly it really doesn't look that bad from this position but again i do want it the way it should be and the way it can be which is El Perfecto. So I hope you're enjoying the new training vlog and let's see what I do next. Okay, so you would have seen from that. So I did my thrusters and my be paused behind the neck jerks and the elbow is getting better, but it's, it's, it's just really annoying me because I, you know, I hate when people say this, but when it comes to my lifting or sports or a lot of things, I do, uh, I feel sick saying the word, but I'm a perfectionist. I hate when people say that. Maybe there's a better word. I like to do it right. I like to get it, things really well, and it bothers me. And look, that's taken me this far. That's probably why I've done some of the things I've done, but you don't, you have to curtail it when it's time to make smart training decisions. So that's enough for the day, just nice and light. I'll do some heavier jerks at the weekend. So those pause jerks are really good for me because I'm trying to eliminate this and try to be more straight down and straight back up. And then the thruster, nice little pressing movement. Um, haven't been able to do any strict press. That's probably part of the reason this isn't as good as it should be because I have been doing it and it's kind of a vicious circle. 
So um, I should be doing it some more assistance work for that. Uh, it's getting better, but it's still not good enough at heavy weights. I uh, really need to, it's even sore and racking the barbell. So I was going to do the second day of the RTA today, but I did the first squat at like 160 and my hip flexor is like a 2 out of 10. And you remember from the last training vlog, it was like a 7 or 8 out of 10 and I was squatting. And I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to leave it. From the last training vlog, you may remember that someone said I had a week back and I actually should be doing some pulls instead. So as much as I would like to do my squats, I need to do some pulls. So I'll put on 160, I'll do some clean deadlifts and I'll work my way up in there and we'll see what we get up to. And then I'll do some cardi ho after training so I can have carbs. Not so bad. Happy with the cleans from blocks. Not happy, but they're they're going in the right direction. Elbow needs to be fixed. Pulls aren't so bad. So I'm just gonna finish up with some my back extensions as told. Push-ups, see if I can get some tricep work in here, and then I will do some cardio for we'll see, 20 minutes. Two at the end of your time on the UAP task force. Uh, the UAP task force has refused access to um, a broad crash retrieval program. When you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft if you will, non-human, exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. You're kidding. No. I thought it was totally nuts, and I thought at first I was being deceived, it was a ruse, people started confiding in me, they approached me, I have plenty of current former senior intelligence officers that came to me, many of which I knew almost my whole career, that confided in me they were a part of a program, they named the program, I've never heard of it, and they, they told me, based on their oral testimony, um, and they provided me documents and other, other proof that there was, in fact, a program that the UAP task force was uh, not read into. Grush alleges the U.S. government... Hmm. Does it keep going? What else does it say? The entire American public has been lied to for decades. Yeah, there was a sophisticated uh, disinformation campaign targeting the U.S. populace, which is extremely unethical and immoral. You are saying to the human race, for the first time, an official intelligence representative at a high level from the US. So push-ups, I'm going super slow, pause at the bottom, and just trying to press out and we'll see if it does anything. Uh, back extensions, tried weighting them, but that doesn't really do fuck all. Uh, so unweighted, but at the end of the reps, I can really feel a good contraction. So I'm just gonna do these four times a week. I know people asked how often I should I do them. I just assume as often as possible <laughs> from Anton, but I will clarify if people want to know. If you want a longer Q&A at Anton, let me know. If you want to send me some questions, and I'll ask him to him. We'll see if we can get something going. But I'm going to do a couple more sets of this and then some cardio. I'm going to leave it there. Training's going in the right direction. We're hustling, getting after it. Jiu-Jitsu? I don't know how Jiu-Jitsu's going. I think it's going well. I'm definitely getting better, 
but that's for my coach to decide. It's good. So three sessions of jiu jitsu, four sessions of weightlifting, and yeah. Okay, hope you enjoyed this training vlog. Better audio and something a little bit different. I'm gonna go back to Joe Rogan and Andy Stumpf, and you enjoy your evening. <laughs>